Hey everybody, a uh, couple of things to report here. First of all, we're going to work on this turntable today, and we're going to try to uh, to get this uh, this new cartridge loaded. So, if you recall, here's the old cartridge. It's a uh, A Static L70, quite heavy, and it's dead as a doornail. Doesn't work. Has this old tight needle in it. See that? Um, obviously, uh, there's two options here. I can rebuild, get this rebuilt, and it would cost me, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks. Um, it probably wouldn't work, and I probably wouldn't get it. Or I could replace it with something else. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to replace it with this cartridge. And I got this cartridge from, um, it's a, uh, it's a fan steel P51-3, which is compatible with the L70. Quite different though. Let's take a look at it. So here's the cartridge. And you can see there's not much to it. It's smaller, and it's a lot lighter. See that? See the pins on the end there? But the mounting holes do line up. So the mounting holes on this cartridge are right here and right here. And these holes do line up. But before I connect anything, I have to think about something. Quite a difference in weight here. The weight plays a huge factor in the tone arm. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do to mount this and try to get the same tracking weight, the grams. I think it's 10 grams this, this particular turntable needs. So we'll figure that out when the time is right. But before we get to that point, there's a few other things we got to do. So let's put this cartridge away for now. And oh, by the way, I want to show you the needle. It's just a standard 78 needle, nothing special, all right? So that'll work just fine. Let's put this away for a minute because we have to solve some other problems here. All right, so um, when I took that cartridge off, um, I noticed that the wires that were connecting to it were in, in relatively bad shape. And I decided that I was gonna rewire the wires that go to the tone arm, and that's these two wires here. I'm gonna show you a close-up of what I've done and then we'll put it back on the tripod. Be right back. Okay, so in order to get the wires out for this tone arm, you'll see that there's a spring clip right there that you have to, I use this little pick and just pried it up. And there's another little spring clip right here, right in there. So all I did was I pulled those spring wires back and then this wire came right out, just like this, okay? And uh, they have a knot on top here and it comes underneath and goes to this terminal strip right here. And the red wire goes to this side, and the black wire goes to this side, right here. And I just happen to have some 22 gauge wire, right here, that's red and black. So that's what I'm going to use. So let me put this back on the tripod, and we'll talk about a few other things I'm going to do here. Alright, so the other thing I have to do is this, uh, this braided wire. So if you recall, this braided wire has two wires running through it. It's a red and a black. And then it's got the outer case, which is shielded. And if you recall from my previous video, the black wire that runs through here is clipped. It's not connected to anything, and it runs was really basic one big, big antenna back to the um, back to the chassis. And I also understand that the the nature of how this amp or this this turntable works <coughs> is it shorts out the wires when it's not engaged and not used, and when you uh, initiate the mechanism, it'll unshort the wires, right? So that's how it works. And I was able to prove that uh, Don, uh, I'm a junk collector, said, hey, Ron, short out the wires that you're getting the hum from and the, 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 uh, the hum will stop. And he was absolutely right. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of using, um, so what really what's happening here is the ground that's being used by that tone arm is really grounded through the entire chassis if I understand this correctly. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the circuit and experiment. I'll use gator wires before I do anything permanently. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually ground the cartridge correctly to the chassis. Because right now it's not. Remember, the black wire is ultimately making its way to this, um, to this shielding. And I think that's part of my issue. Um, but I'm going to experiment and play with that, and I'll have that in my next video. So um, the order of the day here is going to be get the cartridge installed, make sure it has the proper weight, the new cartridge has the proper weight, rewire the tone arm, bring it all the way down underneath here, get everything all soldered up, and then do some testing on how I'm going to wire this thing permanently. 
You're also going to notice in my next video that I'm going to use a different camera technique. I'm actually going to use multi, multi shot you know, going forward. Um, what I'm using today is, uh, is I've got my regular camera, but I have a, a, a tripod. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this, and I have two of them, so the, I've got one right now holding the camera. And Doug um, Masak, this may be something that you think want to think about. So this thing bends 150 different directions. And what I have it right now is I have it um, connected to my my light slash magnifying glass. I have the same thing that you have, the lamp with the spring-loaded arm that you can move around. So I have the camera mounted on top of that. And the good news is if I want to change the camera, I just have to pull this thing down like this. Right? I can move it around. I can go up. I can go up. I can aim up in the air and it hangs on there this thing is really really good for that stuff it really hangs on tight so just something to think about I think this was like 10 bucks on Amazon so just something to give you another option for your um, for your camera angles so uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the rewiring here and um, I'll come back tomorrow with a with a follow-up video on how I handled the weight issue with the with the cartridge and, um, and we'll start the experimentation of how I'm going to wire this thing permanently. First thing I want to do is get the cartridge installed correctly, and then I'm going to connect everything with gator wires and see if the hum is still there. I think it will be. And then we'll figure it out from there. All right, that's it for now. This is Ron.